Estar feliz nunca me ha salido caro it's Alina and today I'm going to be taking out my passion twist I've had them in for about two months if not two months almost two months so I'm going to be taking them out today and also showing you how to refresh them because usually what I would do is just order more packs just so that I don't have to wash them but because of the corona I'm going to have to wash these and put them back into my hair. So what I'm gonna do first, my mom is gonna take out the front because the front, as you can see, is individuals. So she's gonna take out the front and I'm gonna take out the back. And while I take out the back, I'm going to talk to you guys about this hair, some pros, some cons, you know what I'm saying? So let's get right into the video. All right, so the front of my head is done. I had individual plaits in the front and then the back is like crocheted down. So I'm going to finish up with these last few um, twists that I have here. I wanna talk about these twists because it was my first time ever having passion twists. And so these, I ordered them off of Amazon. It was also my first time ordering hair off of Amazon. And overall, I've had a pretty good experience with the hair such that I'm going to be able to wear it twice. So this is how they look. I've had them in for like two months but you can see that there's like the ones in the back especially only have like a little bit of frizz they still look perfectly fine the ones that are in the front are usually frizz a little bit frizzier so they've been holding up pretty pretty well which i'm happy with the only thing that i didn't like about them is that it's obviously a lot more maintenance than box breeds i've had to use mousse almost every single day this is the mousse that i have been using i literally in two months like i emptied the whole bottle i had bought it fresh when i got these done and i already used the whole bottle and so they get very very frizzy because since they are based off of like a curl rather than like a straight hair they get really really frizzy especially like at the at the bottom since they're like curled at the bottom you'll just hear like snaps and a bunch of snaps when you like put your hands through it and it's because of um the curls so the other thing that i didn't like about this hair that much is that it gets stuck on everything especially like the more frizzier that it gets it was just it was awful like it was getting stuck everywhere so with the box braids they get weighed down so if it gets stuck somewhere because it's so heavy it'll like kind of get itself out but this hair since it's stretchy like you see this it's very very stretchy so if it gets caught somewhere my hair is going to stretch with it instead of it weighing down so it was awful i've been getting my hair stuck in the windows in the doors at my job like we have to use these little cart things and the frizz that was at the end was getting caught in the carts and in the little locks like it was so bad and there's really no way to prevent that. I've gotten used to having to, you know, kind of deal with it, but it is obviously kind of annoying. So other than that, I really like that this hair was so lightweight. Like it feels like I have nothing on my head. And since I'm so used to having box braids, which are really, really heavy, like going on to this has been amazing. Like really low tension on my hair and everything. But I think I paid between like $55 and $58 for six packs and I ended up having two extra packs. So I think that that's a pretty good deal, you know? So the other thing that I really liked about this hair was that since it is so light, I could do more styles than with the box braids. Like I have a very tender head, so I can't, the box braids are really, really heavy and I can't put it up in a bun. I can't do like a half up, half down. It's like too much tension for my head. But with this, I actually had the option to do that because since they were so light, like if I wanted to do a big bun, I could have done it. I just didn't do it because I'm lazy and I'm really used to like just wearing my hair straight or in a ponytail. So this is, it's so itchy, it's dirty, I need to wash it in a few. So this is the final product. 
my hair is so long guys but i like to like play around with it just so that i know kind of what it looks like when it's like a little bit stretched you know and not with a bunch of shrinkage so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to show you guys how i wash more like rinse these the smell get them clean this is also the exact same thing that i did when i first got them when they came out of the package from amazon because they smelled really bad so i'm gonna start off with just filling this with some warm water mix it around the middle all right so now i'm going to use this it doesn't really matter what shampoo you use it's really just mostly for the scent and the cleansing so this is the l'oreal evercream sulfate free intense nourishing shampoo um i'm just gonna put a lot in there because since the hair absorbs this pretty well you want to put like oh i am making a mess so you want to put a lot in there at least until it starts to like smell pretty good The next thing I'm going to put is a little bit of apple cider vinegar, almost nothing, but this is just to pick up any toxins that I might have like picked up on the hair and it also helps to take out the scent. So it'll still smell more like shampoo than anything else, but the apple cider vinegar definitely helps. Now I'm just going to throw the hair in there, submerge it completely for about 15 minutes. Well, this has been in here for maybe about like 30 I want to say like 30 minutes maybe a little more than that so all I'm going to do is pick them up and then just squeeze out the excess and then set them off to the side to dry and some of them may need a little bit of rinsing like you can see that some of them got like more shampoo than others so you're just gonna rinse those So these are all the packs of the hair that I just finished washing. So what I like to do once I finish this is just take the towel and press down. This hair does absorb a lot of water, so I like to press down like this so that the towel absorbs a lot of the water. And this will also make the drying time a little bit faster. But the hair looks good and it smells good as well. So tomorrow I'm just gonna cut off some of the ends that look like this or that have like little fuzzies or any extra frizz. I'm gonna be cutting that off tomorrow and then reinstalling it. So I so forgot to film an outro on the day that I finished filming this video, but I installed the hair yesterday and this is the hair, how it's looking today. I'm very satisfied with the final product. You can see that the hair, I cut off all the little frizzies so it's not sticking together anymore. It's nice and shiny and I'm very happy. It looks fresh out of the pack. So all that I did was I put some Lotta Body Wrap Me Foaming Mousse, which I've talked about on this channel before. Super, super good for taming the frizz and helping the hair smell good. And the wig shine is just to add shine back into the hair because after washing it, you're stripping out all of the moisture and all of the shine. So both of these products add those back. So thank you guys for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. Comment down below what's next and subscribe to my channel. Subscribe button is down below along with all of my social media links, my Instagram, my Twitter, my Spotify, and my VSCO. And I will see you guys next week.